Anthony Comia, one last desperate attempt to save the fraudulent compound media. <laughs> this year, we'll be doing Jocktober. Now, I find this kind of odd because I don't know who initially came up with Jocktober, but I know Sam was in charge of running the bit. So I would assume he's going to put E-Rock now in charge of running the bit. Jocktober, of course, every day in the month of October, they would pick some random radio show to make fun of. Now, see, it's kind of hard for them to do this now because when they did Jocktober, they were on a huge popular radio show. And the fun of it was they were cracking on another pretty crappy radio show that wasn't as popular and they would get their listen to pest to call in and attack the Facebook. Like there was a whole formula to Jocktober in which none of that will be happening in this new iteration of Jocktober because nobody watches compound media basically. So whatever show they talk about, their Facebook is it there's not gonna be like live updates off like oh their Facebook page is down and um Stuff like that, and whoever they talk about probably won't even know. And that was the other great thing about Jocktober. The show that Jocktober knew they were being Jocktober. Kumi is going to be Jocktober in shows that they're never going to know about it. So, um, I don't I mean, like, if Jim and Sam brought back jo Jocktober, I could understand that because they're still technically on the radio. And way more people listen to Jim and Sam than Anthony Cumia, but... I mean, if they're just going to sit there and make fun of a show, that's... I mean, that's cool, and... I'm in the spirit of that, what Cumia plans on doing, but... The fun of Jocktober was... Sam, oh, okay, now they shut down comments on their Facebook. <laughs> like, stuff like that, which isn't going to happen, but... One of the main shows that's going to be featured in Jocktober by Anthony Cumia will be Todd Pettengale. As you know, Todd from Scott and Todd, who's completely out of radio and is now going to start up a subscriber-based, I guess, podcast. Nobody's going to want to do it. If you could go did I have anyone listening to you for free? What does this Todd think is going to happen when he charges money? But, uh, so he's going to be very prominent in Jocktober. I would assume Anthony's going to Jocktober Opie. That, I mean, we should all just assume that one's going to come. Uh, probably more than once. But who else does Anthony Jocktober, like, really? Is he really going to talk about, hey, there's this wacky radio thing in Phoenix, Arizona. They're more popular than you, Kumia, and more people in this. See, I'm just not seeing how this is going to work. If he's just going to make fun of... And is he going to keep it to radio shows or just do podcasts? Is he going to try and, like, who are who are these podcasts, other podcasts, and keep it in that vein? Because he's not going after... Uh, Todd Pettengale's radio show. He's going to be going after his podcast. I don't know. Um, but he said they're bringing it back for October. So I'm assuming Iraq's going to run it. Anthony and Dave Landau jocktobering more popular radio and or podcast than them. If he was smart, if Kumi was smart, and had any cojones, he would so jocktober me. If he had any, if he had any intelligence, he would just jocktober me one day. But he's too afraid of me. He's too much of a coward. I don't know. So, Compound Media will be doing jocktober this October. Let me know your thoughts in the comments of if you think it's a good idea, bad idea. How you think it's going to work? Are they going to try and do radio shows or just podcast? And uh, do you think it's going to be good? So let me know your thoughts in the comments on this. But if Anthony had any guts, any testicular fortitude, he would jocktober me. And I would so enjoy it. And then I would jocktober the jocktobering of me. And then they would you know, try and do a copyright takedown on it. <laughs> but uh, 
Yeah, so let me know your thoughts about it in the comments.